Hey everyone, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to create a simple animation for a watch mobile app in Adobe XD. If you want to follow along with me during this video, kindly check the description below to download the XD file. I hope you enjoyed this video. Alright guys, so we have our project open. Let's head over to prototype and then start to work on this. So let's move this to artboard to the left and duplicate it. Now I want us to create like a kind of transition where when the user lands on this page, the background is just going to keep like changing. So we'll change from this watch to this watch and then we'll change. So this just these two watches will like change it. But just we'll change like in a nice way. So we are going to select the whole ad board here and then drag this to this ad board and we'll choose time over here so one thing you realize is for this time it works for just two like ad boards it doesn't work for when you select an object to an ad board so for that you will not have your time over there but when it's from an ad board to an ad board then you're going to have your time trigger there we'll change this to one second and then we'll choose auto animate and let's change this to yeah okay easing and out it's okay now we'll select this ad board and then drag but we'll maintain the same stuff okay so now let's preview this design and see how it's going to look so you see it, it, it kind of let the first one disappear and then the second one will come in so that's it for like just this four screens now let's move on to this sign in screen so let's move that here. Now for this, I want us to like duplicate this and bring this watch in. Was it? Yeah, this one. So first, let's head over to design. And then I want us to create like this animation where if the user clicks login from here, this watch is going to pop up and come here, like just something to make it nice. So we are going to tell this, let me make it 35 degrees. And then we are going to move it to the down here. And then turn off, here's okay. And turn off the opacity to zero. And then we'll copy it, paste it on the screen. And move it, move it to the top. And this time I will make the opacity 100. Now, now we'll select this screen and go back to prototype so we'll drag this movie here and then we'll have the same property so this is okay so now let's preview this and see how it looks perfect now you'll be wondering how this works but it's kind of telling adobe they have everything on this screen is the same as this screen and so adobe adobe xd looks for what has changed it then realizes that oh these two watches are the same they have the same name same size everything but they've changed position and then color one has been reduced like once once opacity has been reduced to zero and it's down and on the second screen this one's opacity is 100 percent and it's at the top so adobe exit does the magic for you okay so now we'll connect this screen to this first screen over here and we'll change this to transition dissolve yeah let's change this to 0.4 second let's change this to easy so now we'll give you from the very first screen and then see how it looks now okay okay now our watch will come in perfect it's just something to make it like look very very nice now let's head over to design again and then bring this screen here and duplicate it yeah, we'll duplicate it one time and now what i want us to do is we want this watch to be moving so we'll move to the left top right down that kind of way so we'll, move, we'll go to the second screen and move it to the left like this and then we'll duplicate this as board and then i'm going to move it to the the watch to the top a bit good and then we'll select this as board duplicate it and then move it to the right duplicate this and move it to the down oops okay so now we are done with that so let's head over here 
we drag this, send it here, and then we have one. We'll change this to auto animate because we don't want it to look weird. And let's change this to one second. Change our this to snap. Now we'll just drag this very basic like and then drag this. So now let's see how this looks now. So same way the watch went, this one also, the images here have the same name on each screen here, but then they just change positions. So Adobe XD will do the magic for you once again. So again, we are going to link all the screens we have now. So we link this, we've linked this to this, right? So now we are going to link our login screen to our onboarding screen. So we'll select the button here, drag it here, Choose transition, dissolve, easing, change this to point four. Perfect. So now we can preview this and see what we have now. And now when we tap on login, you are going to go to the screen and then the image is going to move. All right, so now what do we have left? We have our main screen here. And for that, we are going to link this button here to this. When it's clicked, we want it to transition. Like we want the same kind of animation. So let's see how that goes. All right, like just simple. So. We just like what we did in our previous video, we'll choose trigger for tab. We'll choose tab for trigger and then move on. All right. Now we are going to bring our details screen. We are going to bring both of them down. Yeah, let's, let's put it here. And then let's move the black one to the top, to the down. And I want this, when we select this watch here, the same as this watch here, right? And I want it to be in a way that when I tap on this watch, this watch is going to come in, but will come in from the left. So it's going to come in like this. And for that to happen, we have to copy this watch and paste it on this screen. So we are going to copy this watch and paste it on this screen. And then we'll move it to the left because we want it to come from the left. And then what, what I'm going to do, we'll reduce the opacity. Like, that's just how to do it. So what we are going to do now is select this. Yeah, let's select this. Move it to this one. And then choose which one animate because we want Adobe to animate everything for us. So let's choose snap. Let's choose point eight second and open this. And when I tap this, you see the watch comes from the left side. That's so cool. Let's make the duration longer so that everybody can two seconds so that everybody can see it. So we made it slow so that it will perfect. So we'll come from the left. And the main reason was because we copied the watch and paste it on this as board and then reduce the opacity. So if you wanted it to come from the right, we'll move the watch to the right side. Now we have this kind of colors here, so let's play around that. We want to be able to change the color of the watch. So for that, when we click on black, it should go here, put to an init, 0.6 seconds, easing. And when the brown is clicked, it should come back with the same kind of stuff. And I will start from here. Let's change our duration back to one, no point eight, since everybody so how it works so now when i tap on this oops when i tap on this perfect and now i can tap on the black color and i can tap on the green color, the brown color all right so i come to create something now using 3d transforming adobe xd the latest feature xd but so let's before that when this let's go back to prototype so when this watch is clicked we want it to transition here 
auto animate yeah everything is perfect right here and we want to also copy this paste it here and just like we did for the first watch we'll move it to the left and then reduce the opacity so now when we preview this when we preview this we are going to have the watch move from the left just like it did for the other one so on top of this is going to come from the left now on the 3d transform so we are going to duplicate this and then select the 3d transform over here at the right side here let's zoom in and then we are going to let's go around 300 let's down 340 okay this is okay now what we wanted to do is when we tap on the watch and it comes here after some time the watch will just it's just going to spin like 3d about so so let's okay i think that's perfect so now where should we start let's watch it from here okay so when we tap it's going to come not that very fast so we can make it slow it all depends on what we want so let's go to here we can make it slow by changing this to one second two or something and it all depends on what you are creating sometimes it needs to be fast sometimes it needs to be slow Now, there's one last thing we need to look at, which is being able to scroll. So, that's like an easy thing though. We can select, let's get out of 3D transform. We can select these three objects here. And then, we'll select horizontal scroll over here. And that's the boom, we've created our scrolling. So, when we preview this, we can like scroll and see the object inside over here i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching if you like this video hit the thumbs up and i'll see you next week